Jackson sit. Good sit, good sit. You guys, I don't know what it is that I'm always watching him when I'm vlogging, but the guys are working out, so I get him. Good morning. Ooh. You guys, it's a new day. Feeling good, feeling spicy. I got Jackson here. I'm going to get some coffee into my soul. I also have a live workout this morning, so going to be prepping for that. I also need to clean my kitchen because last night your girl was lazy to do the dishes, so that means I have to do them now. Let's get into it. coffee I decided to spice it up and I added a little bit of pumpkin pie spice and a drizzle of maple syrup with my oat milk it was delicious okay so usually eating depends on like how early I woke up how much time I have till my workout and I did actually wake up really early this morning I told JT I really wanted to try and wake up at 5 30 so we committed today and so I've been up for a little bit, so I am really hungry. My alarm's going off, hold on. There's a lot of noise, JT has people in the garage. Oh, I have an alarm right now that says, body is beauty. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Hey, bro. <laughs> What's up, bro? Anyway, I've been doing this thing where I have been looking at myself before I get dressed, so I'm naked and I'm just staring at myself in the mirror and I'm usually telling myself how beautiful I am and I'll name things that sometimes don't come naturally for me to share that's beautiful. A lot was with my skin and kind of just telling how beautiful and clear my skin was and how beautiful my body was even if I wake up a little bit bloated or if I, you know, whatever it is. And I've really enjoyed it because it's slightly uncomfortable. And then I'll give myself a hug afterwards which also is very comforting. Like it's, I don't know, you don't ever hug yourself for me at least. So that's something that I'm trying to add in and been enjoying, but I think I totally got off topic because my alarm went off. Anyway, I usually would just eat my overnight oats, but I feel like I should share, I shared a on my what I eat in a day on my reels and like TikTok, I shared an oats recipe where it was like the creamiest oats ever. I can't take credit. Um, a girl, Emily, I'll link her Instagram here. She posts the best oats and has like all other amazing recipes as well. Some of them are a little advanced for me, but <laughs> some of them are super basic and I have fell in love with her oat recipes. So I think I'll make that and show you guys how creamy they get. I also hope this encourages you because in her recipe, she has like two different oats that she uses and like, I don't know, maybe a certain type of nut milk. And I really just make it my own. So I'm like, okay, I don't have those two versions of oats, so I'm just gonna use my one version of oats. And then they usually turn out the same. When you look at an ingredient list, like look at what you have that's similar. I don't think you always have to have the exact same thing. So if someone has a certain type of pasta, like I'll just be like, what pasta do I have? Instead of being like, it has to be fettuccine. I'm gonna drink this, do my morning routine, and then I will make my oats. I'm going to set my flame to start with at a medium low. I'm going to use one cup of water and a half a cup of oat milk. Then I'm gonna take a half a cup of gluten-free quick oats. You can also use gluten-free rolled oats or whatever oats you desire. I did a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a couple sprinkles of some Himalayan pink salt. Leave your oats on a low heat. They will start to froth. And I'm gonna chop up some bananas while I wait. You'll start to see the consistency get a little foamy and come up to the surface. Just make sure your heat is on low, but I leave mine on for at least 10 minutes. For toppings, I'm adding banana, peanut butter, dark chocolate chips and some hemp seeds, but you can do whatever you like. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear that noise from my computer. I'm gonna be quiet for a second so you can hear it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I dropped my laptop. I dropped it. I dropped it. <laughs> and it is making an obnoxious noise. I literally have my live workout right now, but I think I'm gonna have to write my workout out on my whiteboard because 
it's so loud that I think it'll bother people. <laughs> I took a poll on Instagram and said, how bad is this noise? So bad or super minor? Let's see what everyone's voted. So bad, 82%. I'm gonna take it in today. So that's gonna change up the plans but it's okay. Okay, let's write this workout on the whiteboard. <sighs> workout complete. That one was painful my gosh so good you guys i feel like i have to get low <laughs> i was gonna make a banana like chocolate chip smoothie but since i had that oats that was like banana and chocolate chips i'm now gonna do more of like a blueberry i honestly am really feeling like mango because it's in season right now but i didn't buy mango frozen i only have like it not frozen so i'm gonna do this blueberries some bananas Probably some spinach, make it easy, almond milk, and let's get it. For my smoothie, I'm gonna do blueberries. So I'm adding a cup of frozen blueberries. I'm going to add a dash of some almond milk and do the rest water. It comes to about a half cup or one cup of water. It matters the kind of consistency you like. I'm also gonna add some vanilla protein powder and a handful of frozen spinach and I'm going to add my collagen because I forgot to add it in my coffee this morning. All right, wow, this is bomb. I tried my friend's new protein powder that he did and I'm impressed. The smoothie tastes even better because of the taste of the protein powder. I'm gonna set this down because literally from the workout, my arm's tired. Hold up. Ugh. Okay, so protein powders can be really, really tough. Like truly, I have tried so many protein powders. I'm chilly, hold on. Anyone else get like a little chilled after you like sweat so much and then like you're calmed down? Yeah, I feel like uh, protein powders is something that I have struggled with trying to find because they can be really harsh on your digestive system. So I've struggled for a long time. I thought for a really long time I wasn't ever gonna be able to have protein powder because it never suited well. I would bloat really, really bad or I would get insane stomach aches so then I like couldn't even eat the rest of the day. So I feel like these are my brands right now that I love that do not give me a stomach ache and really are clean. One is one called New Zest. That owner actually created that protein powder because she had digestive issues. Um, Alyssa showed it to me and I love it. This one, I'm excited to see if it gives me a stomach ache because that one is a little bit of a cleaner taste. You do have to add more sweeteners to cover up the taste, if that makes sense. Number two is a protein powder called High Protein, H-I. That one's really good, but again, it's kind of like, it's so clean that I wish there was a little bit more sweetness to it. And then we will see how this one goes. It is a whey protein, which I can't do at all, but he explains, I don't even wanna go into it because I'm not, I didn't create this product, but he was saying how he concentrates it out, again, butchering it, pretty much is um, allowing that he strained it all, that there's no dairy actually in this product. So it's um, dairy free, that's what I'm trying to say. But this one tastes so good. So I will keep you guys posted on how my stomach does. I'm gonna go shower, it is also, hair mask day. I kind of film the same day every week, so I think you guys like catch me on a lot of my showering days, but who cares, self-care, baby. So I'm gonna go do that, and yeah, here we go. All right, my loves, your girl is clean, refreshed, I'm showered. I mean, I'm in it right now. I'm wearing necklaces, I'm wearing my um, Zara black jeans. These are like my go-to. Uh, they're like a little bit mommy, but not. And then this is just like my brandy tank. Super cash, super easy. Yeah, so we're gonna get into lunch. I made, not I made, I've been doing some work, catching up on that, and now your girl is starving. I think also we am a little dehydrated. Um, I haven't been drinking enough water. Also, this water bottle, it's still my go-to, but 
My dream is to like create my own because this is just not that cute, but it is so convenient. So who knows, you know? Who knows? But anyway, drink your water, hydrate. Okay, so some of my top, top tips for, let's say if you're just starting out. So if you're just starting out and trying to eat healthier, I would say have realistic goals is the biggest thing because if you were like, I'm going to cook every meal of every day and it's gonna be so healthy, it's just gonna be overwhelming and you're gonna get burnt out and you're gonna hate it. That's just what happened to me when you try to just go too quick. So there's a couple options that I share with people, but I say one thing is to only try one to two new recipes a week. I stri strictly stick to one. So if you have like your recipe go-tos, yes, let's try and make them the most healthy and basic as possible. But this means that you have room for one new recipe a week. So it's a night, I would say a night or whenever you're the least busy and have time to mess up be okay if it doesn't taste good. I also think if you're like, okay, I work where in a space, I don't know if you guys are still working at home or you're back in the office, but if around you there is lunch spots, then maybe you buy lunch and make dinner. Also, you guys, when looking for recipes, keep it simple. Like when you're looking them up on Pinterest or Instagram, find ones that the ingredient list is this big, not this big. Um, I still even do that. So I like it simple. I like ones that is a one pot. So that means I don't have to do 20 things of dishes. I like an oven. I like an air fryer. So really looking up those recipes that are easy, simple, and tasty. And over time, you will learn how to even make them even better. But don't overwhelm yourself. Try one new recipe a week. If it doesn't work, it's in the trash and you try a new one. And then also too, if you find a recipe and say that they're using um, chicken or steak and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm a vegetarian, then you can always replace. You don't have to be like, this meal can't work. So even for me today, I'm going to make a super easy dish. I'm actually trying it for the first time as well. So you guys are seeing my one new uh, healthy recipe of the week that I'm gonna try because I was gonna make like a chickpea sandwich, but I saw someone do it with like pasta and almost like a little pesto with chickpeas. So I'm kind of feeling that I'm gonna try it. This is also just so easy. It takes eight minutes and then these are gonna go into the oven for a short amount of time too. So it's gonna be a super easy dish. It's one where I can walk away, be working at the same time. So I find it super convenient. So let's get into it. I'm gonna open up a can of chickpeas and rinse them first. Taking a piece of parchment paper, I'm adding my rinsed chickpeas. I'm gonna add some olive oil, paprika, and some Himalayan salt, and some dried oregano. There wasn't exact ingredients of how much on my list, so I'm kind of just winging it at this point. Then I'm gonna add them into the oven and leave them in for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're nice and crispy. Okay, they just got out of the oven, so let's see how they taste. Mmm, you guys, they taste so good. But I just real <clears throat> I made chickpea pasta and chickpeas. I didn't really connect the dots in there. The other person used normal pasta, but since I can't have gluten, I went with my chickpea, but I probably should have gone with like gluten-free mac and cheese. It's gonna be a lot of chickpea, but who cares? Let's go, protein. I'm making some bonza chickpea noodles. I'm gonna add them into the pot and let them heat for at least eight minutes. While the noodles cool down, I'm gonna make my arugula. So I'm just gonna take a handful of arugula, add some lemon and slightly drizzle a little bit of nutritional yeast as well is optional and some olive oil. Then I'm going to take my noodles and I'm gonna add this pesto sauce. You could also make your own, totally up to you. All right, you guys, I went on 
actually a surprise little walk and we never really take afternoon walks but it was actually so nice it's more of like when the sun's setting and i guess not the sun's setting because it doesn't get late till like 7 30 almost 8 here it's so crazy so very grateful that we have that and we took a little walk on this trail and then into the water not <laughs> not into the water we didn't go swimming but there was also like this one of my favorite restaurants called the hive and they put one over by the water instead of santa monica sammy's talking too much but anyway i was like okay i kind I want to try the bone broth and I have not tried like drinking bone broth and you guys it is rough which I don't know if it's just this specific brand I imagine there's really good brands but whatever this one is oh my gosh so far bone broth is a no for me drinking form but i am gonna try different brands anywho but i also realized i never shared with you guys if that protein powder gave me a stomach ache and i have great news it didn't it didn't and it was tasty it's not out yet but when it is i will let you guys know because i think it's very 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 hard like i said to come by one that tastes amazing one that doesn't upset your stomach this is truly not an ad i'm just actually really grateful for products that don't give me bloating a stomach ache and can provide actually good ingredients and especially after a workout i love a smoothie so you guys this might be too much but just bear with me all right so when it says whey isolate it's not concentrated that means they separate it from the fats and they separate it from the protein and then when they go to take the protein usually like other places with whey will just like use that so then it has dairy in it but what they did is they took it through a process, like they processed it again. So now it's isolated. So it's literally, there's no dairy in it. They specifically only took, you can come in baby. They only took the protein from the whey, but there's no dairy in it. So it literally explains this on here, but I just want to explain like, I desperately can't have dairy and I had to make sure. And like, this is amazing. So yeah, fam. Anyway, always just trying to give you guys my, favorite products I'm using right now because I am a guinea pig and try a lot. So I am going to start dinner. It is about that time. I'm making salmon guys because I know that I've been sharing it on IG and I'm gonna show you guys. I am personally gonna make it in the air fryer. You do not have to, you can make it in an oven. Let's get into it. I just wanted to come in and say I love this girl. She is amazing. <laughs> yeah. She's amazing. Isn't she amazing. great? Look at the way you're holding my head. We're getting chicken parms for dinner. No, baby. I'm making salmon. No, 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 I, no, no. I literally... No. no. It's from the Parm Boys. I can't even have chicken parm. That's very selfish. I'll have the salmon with you. We'll forget about chicken parm. For my salmon, I'm gonna mix up my seasoning, which I'm gonna use a fourth teaspoon of Himalayan salt, a fourth teaspoon of some pepper, a fourth teaspoon of paprika, a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, and a little bit of some cayenne pepper. It matters how much of a kick you want, but I barely put any. Once you mix those all together, then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of brown sugar. You can also use coconut sugar if you can't have brown sugar. And then you're going to add it onto your salmon. I'm also gonna drizzle some maple syrup. Just make sure you really get it in there. You can use a brush or your hands. At 400 degrees, I'm going to stick it into the air fryer and cook it for 10 to 12 minutes. I like it to get crispy on the outside. While that is cooking, I'm going to chop up some asparagus and cook it on the stove. Just gonna add some olive oil with some everything bagel seasoning. Then I'm going super simple tonight and just adding in some frozen rice so it'll heat in the microwave. This is always great when you're feeling extra lazy. loves it is the next day i hope you guys enjoyed that what i eat in a day video if you did please make sure to subscribe and like this video because it helps my channel also if you guys want to comment below videos you want to see next i'd love to hear it and just grateful for you guys i'll see you next time